And how, how did you realize that you had these uh, psychic abilities? Well, like I said, on my, uh, or you read earlier, my mom's side um, had the abilities. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone has been approached by, um, they call it the lady in black. Mm -hmm. And she beckons you. And uh, we all, I guess, see it as an omen, but one generation does not tell the other generation. You don't find out about it until you're beckoned. And then you talk about it as a kid. Mm -hmm. And we look at it as the dark side beckoning, probably. And most likely seeing if you will come over to the dark side. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone knows about it. But, and then the funny thing is <laughs> we talk about it. Like um, uh, my great grandfather, he used to work and come home the same time every day. First thing he would do is open up the fridge, uh, get out uh, a drink. And oh, what is that really stinky, stinky cheese that, oh, oh. I can't remember the name of that cheese. It's just mm -hmm. horrible smell. And then uh, he'd have some of that, uh, some bread, and that was his snack before dinner. And, everything. and unfortunately, he died young, um, comparatively. And uh, for a long time, you'd hear the, the, the side door open, the fridge, and then the house would just fill up with that smell mm -hmm. of that cheese. And it got to where my grandma, my great grandma, my mom, and then we're like, oh, come on, we can't handle this anymore. Stop smelling up the house, you know? <laughs> they would talk about it, you know, and uh, refer to people. Mm -hmm. uh, and the funny thing is, uh, I used to uh, talk about my blue lady. Mm -hmm. And she was a woman that can't, always was always with me. She was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Her hair was done up in this. Uh, Chagon bun and uh, the Victorian dress and a, a cameo at her neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother believed me. And she's like, mm -hmm. she did research on our house, is a very old uh, ranch house um, in LA. Um, it, was, it was already over 100 years old. And so she went, took me down to the city hall. We did research, mm -hmm. owned it. Uh, we, I mean, my mom kept on doing research and trying to figure out who my blue lady was. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day I came home from school and uh, my mom and my great grandma were in the main living room. You know, that room you don't play in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, they were hanging a picture and I fell back and I'm like, that's my blue lady. Wow. It was her, perfectly her. And my great grandmother turned around and she goes, well, that's my mother. And so my blue lady was my great, great grandmother. And so she was, she was the one that looked over me. She was the one that taught me. She was, and it turns out she was the strongest medium in the family for forever. And she actually helped her family uh, during the depression and stuff like that do readings uh, for other immigrants in New York because everyone was, all the immigrants, Kind of lived in the same building in the same area in new york mm -hmm. and so for food and different things she would read tea leaves because people liked that or she would read paw even though she was a medium she would use things that uh different immigrants knew from their culture oh wow so whatever was appropriate from england whatever was appropriate from ireland whatever is yes. from me she would use those but she was a medium and so she would read to mm -hmm. help with the family you know but it was even she was even before that because she she came over even before that but she through time would read mm -hmm. and so i'm then the next strongest in my family so it's wow. her mm -hmm. hers on the yeah wow that's very interesting <laughs>